Yo, 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 Forward Fabian back with a video for the channel. I'm doing Jim and Set Me Free Part 2, the official music video. I don't even know where, where's Part 1 at. Um, But yeah, yeah, yeah. I just did a reaction to Jim and Like Crazy, the official music video. Now, that was fire. That was heat. I definitely appreciate his sound. I like where he's coming from. And I think, like, y'all let me know in the comment section how many solo releases does he have so far. Because, I mean, he's from BTS. So, would y'all say at this point in time, a lot of them are taking their own routes, you know, doing their own thing? Or what's going on with BTS right now? Um, I guess in that aspect of things, comment down below. Or they have solo projects releasing, uh, who knows, bro. But with that being said, um, definitely like Jimin. When I did the Angel, uh, the Angel uh, Fast X soundtrack reaction... Obviously got a new heightened introduction and light into him as a member of BTS. People recommended I check out Like Crazy as well as Set Me Free Part 2. So here we are today, man. If you have additional recommendations, I encourage y'all to comment them down below. Uh, if you're feeling generous, man, donate to the channel. PayPal link in the description below, man. Peace, love. Let's get into this reaction. Bruh said, people be saying he angelic. He sound angelic. Hold up, y'all. All right, let's get out. Set me free. Is this going to be better than the other one? Who knows? Mm, choreography going ham. Bonkers. Crazy. Immediately, immediately, immediate reaction is complete. It's different. It's different from what I'm hear, what I've heard in the past from him. Angel, very sweet, subtle vocals. Even the uh, reaction I just did. What's that called? Like me. Uh, I think that's what it's called. But you know, different type of sound. You really hear his vocals. You know, um, stand out in terms of just that. That high pitchedness, bro. The in, the angelicism. I don't even know what to call it, bro. The sweetness of his voice. This one seems a little bit more rough around the edges. You know, sound like he's a little bit more animated. Um, and that's what question I had, like, because I'm not sure how far he is in the solo aspect of his career. How many singles has he released just by himself? I think maybe just two. But with that, what is his sound? What does he sound like? Because I think BTS as a whole got their own sound, bro. And then you think about, um, like, them individually, they're going to have their own spin, their own style. But what I've heard prior didn't sound like this. Bruh. He got a sound like he got the background uh, vocals to power. Kanye's power. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Hey, uh, so quick point. People were specifying that from a choreography standpoint, Jimin is like up there in terms of uh, he had a dance segment that I was just talking about. He had a dance segment BTS had done. I was just talking about that not too long ago through the uh, reaction playlist for BTS, but. The choreography tends to be something that they take very serious. Um, but people were saying Brody can dance. 
He really got moves like that, so. Boy got that Travis Scott sound. Straight up, it's lit. Mm. Facts, facts. People talking about K-pop is the new biggest genre. Is it bigger? It's gonna be bigger than rap. Rap is the new rock. We know that. Hip hop is, you know, the most popular. Everybody trying to be like rappers nowadays. Even even the rock artists, bro. <laughs> but uh, people talking about if you look at the numbers for K-pop, the numbers are phenomenal, bro. Like they they're breaking. It seems like they're breaking streaming record plat viewership subscriptions like if you look at the analytics for a lot of this stuff bro the numbers are redonkulous so would y'all agree y'all think k-pop taking over bro shout out to the videographer Jimin, set me free. What the? Let's take that back. Hmm. That was kind of cool. I mean, you could see to where it cut, but you could tell right there. Yeah, you saw where it cut, you know what I'm saying? But it was pretty cool, you know what I'm saying? I saw what y'all trying to do with that. That is Jim in, bro. Set me free, part two, gang. Um, I don't know, bro. I don't know what to say, man. Honestly, it's not a surprise to me. That's the best way to put it. Like, I'm not super familiar with BTS like that, but just a lot of the response and feedback coming from the comments and that 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 uh, angel uh, reaction, everybody was on his nuts. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got a big fan base, bro. A huge fan base. With that being said, though, uh, I'm not surprised at what he doing. Like, he seemed like, just, bro, for the perfect mainstream artist, like, he's the perfect mainstream artist, bro. And that's the thing is that even though he's of Korean descent and he came up in the K-pop genre, I see him crossing over seamlessly. I don't see any issue with Jimin being a popular American artist, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I mean by it. Just everything within his arsenal is naturally fit around being a successful musician and artist, vocalist. Like, that's just a very talented dude, man. Very talented dude. Um, so, yeah, man. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this one in the comment section below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, for what Fabian wrote to me and subs, man. Peace, love, prosperity to everybody out there, man. God bless y'all. Thank you for watching the content. If you're feeling generous, man, donate to the channel. PayPal link is in the description. If you're new to the channel, man, get familiarized by going to the playlist page, checking out all my reactions to date. It's like a whole library of content so y'all can get, you know, y'all can get brought up to speed basically with all the stuff I do, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.